Hi there guys, Elliot here from Plonk Golf again and today I'm going to be talking you through one of our master projects. This was an abandoned scrap of land under a bridge somewhere in East London and we, over a period of months, turned it into a mini golf wonderland. Something the likes of London had never seen before. It was a world's first, the world's first mini golf course and puzzle room combined to mean Plonk's puzzle putt. So we're going to straight off into the video. So basically this was a rat hole. There's just no other way of describing it. It was an absolute hole. It was full of rubbish. It had been an abandoned sort of dumping land for years. So step one was clear it completely out. Um, then we just started to hit it with our creative powers. Basically this is a little sketch showing you the front area. This is the area. There's five areas in the zone. It was 3,000 square foot. It was a slither of land next to London Fields in Hackney, London. And we converted it into some Polynesian putting paradise like we normally do so here comes another prolific plonk project so what we've got at the foreground there is a little um, desk area for our staff to sit in but in this course our staff acted like a caddy and followed your group around the course as you tried to solve nine nigh on impossible puzzles that even the best puzzle room people couldn't get their head around i think it was just the sheer scale of it not only was it a um world's first as a puzzle room um as a plonk puzzle room but it was world's first probably biggest puzzle room business ever built it was something quite impressive and cost lots of money so hopefully you can see that in this video so um the orange hole at the front was hole number one um if you want to see all the puzzles check out our puzzle putt video which shows you through the nine holes that we created if you're interested in converting your golf course into a puzzle putt get in touch we're the only people in the world that do this so this is the first zone we took the old shipping containers and turned them into tiki huts put clouds on the ceilings put some green down the floor and the power of astroturf and had some um, intricate puzzle games throughout the first area. But this was um, the opening, this is the entrance. That container was our office and eventually turned into a waiting room where people could leave their bags before they took on the next puzzle. So that's zone one. Here's a few images of what it looked like when it was finished. So this is the um, the container now looking like a um, tiki shack. This is a wide shot of the front area with the hole going down the front and the um, the desk area actually moved a bit to the left. This is zone number two. So we had another shipping container as we worm our way through the slither of land. And again, we thought, oh, I've got to turn this into something. And we turned it into a tiki hut. Um, this zone had um, a puzzle room inside of the puzzle room. It was very meta. It had a UV room inside of that container you see on the right. And in there, you would um, solve some tabletop puzzles take some respite from the rest of our plonk world um, and in the container to the left that was our office and waiting area through that little gap there became our volcano puzzle room where one had to solve how to get the ball to the top of volcano down the right track to get it in the hole so obviously you'd be working together as a team to solve it but then again your scores and how many shots you've taken to make each hole would be your score against the rest of your team if you see what I mean so there's a double competition going on you could trade in golf balls to get clues the golf balls would be hidden around the course in bushes um, and sometimes to get to the golf balls you'd have to have a tool to access them which you'd also have to find it was um, pretty deep but we gave you a map that you could refer to um, and to see all the full tricks of the puzzle room then check out our video but we left some things still secret for our next installment of the Plonk puzzle putt so in this room here i've just been procreate painting over the photo normally i do a sketch but because we had such great template shots taken of the venue as we moved in for the purpose of getting our deposit money back and also for the purpose of just having something great down the line to color in over i just thought let's just go over the photos themselves so um, the materials we used again were bamboo, reeds, rattans, um, natural woods that we clad onto the existing structures. Um, in the UK, you can't actually do any fixing work to bridges or structures belonging to the railway company, which means we had to cage out basically the entire space in a massive scaffold cage so we could hang dressings off it and mount things onto um, to stay a couple of inches away from the walls. So we've got some lanterns going up. We really spent time on the dressing and theming in this one, um, and it was... Um, all hanging from above head height and we had big lanterns which popping lights down and it became very atmospheric and moody in the space and when the trains went overhead it sounded like the rumbling of thunder so the clouds flashed like lightning um, it was something to behold so in here I'm just adding more texture and depth to the um, walls of the containers so that's reed and rattan going on there we broke it up with um, slats of bamboo that were haphazardly put on to give the idea of being all sort of toshed together quickly um, out of spares and founds so the, the, the theming really had some great 
depth and life to it so here's a couple of pictures of what it looked like when it was done in the middle area so that's a top down looking at the hole with the container there at the end that's the container itself all finished um, with the puzzle room inside and here's a little close-up of some of the theming that we did onto it so you can see we used scenic painting to weather it all down and knock it all back so if you want to check out more videos from our london fields projects there's more coming along click the links to the left if you want to check out more theming videos from our other projects click the links to the right thanks for watching catch you on the next video